The Met Office has issued a cold snap weather warning for March. Alexei Navalny's funeral procession takes place amid tight security in Moscow, and George Galloway has won the Rochdale by-election. Keep watching to find out more. Brits were lashed with rain on Friday as the Met Office warned of the risk of snow and ice as temperatures are set to plummet over the weekend. Weather maps released show freezing air moving down from the Arctic resulting in heavy snow in some places. A band of rain, sleet and hill snow moved slowly northwards this afternoon with Scotland and Northern Ireland remaining largely dry. Over Friday and into Saturday there will be heavy snow in some parts of Northern England including 5 cm in the Newcastle area while maps show there will be snow in the northeast of the country as well. The funeral service of Alexei Navalny has taken place in Moscow amid tight security. Thousands of people lined the street with flowers in hand as the funeral procession of Navalny arrived at the church. People could be heard chanting his name as his coffin was removed from the hearse. The activist and Putin critic died on 16th of February in a Russian prison inside the Arctic Circle. It is still not yet clear what caused the death of Navalny who fought against corruption and organized big protests as Putin's biggest political opposition. Many Western leaders blamed his death on Putin, an accusation the Kremlin rejected. Posting on ex-Foreign Secretary Lord David Cameron said, Putin tried to silence Alexei Navalny but the world was watching. On the day of his funeral, we remember his spirit of defiance in the face of brutality from the Russian regime and his courage in standing up to corruption. Alexei Navalny's widow Yulia spoke in the European Parliament on Wednesday condemning the murder of her husband. Now my husband is dead. I am back to Strasbourg, but I am no longer walking around with my family. I stay here and address you and in your person the whole Europe. You are, not dealing with a uh, you are not dealing with a politician, but with a bloody monster. Putin is the leader of an organized criminal gang. George Galloway has made a shock return to Westminster as an MP after winning the Rochdale by-election. The former Labour MP won with 12,335 votes as a candidate for the Workers' Party of Britain, coming ahead of independent candidate David Tully with 6,638. Azhar Ali, who had support withdrawn from Labour, trailed behind coming at number 4. During his winning speech, the new Rochdale MP declared this is for Gaza. Keir Starmer, this is for Gaza. You have paid and you will pay a high price for the role that you have played in enabling, encouraging, and covering for the catastrophe presently going on in occupied Palestine in the Gaza Strip. Galloway went on to criticize both mainstream parties, Labour and Conservative, in his victory speech. I want to tell Mr. Starmer above all that the plates have shifted tonight. And as Jacob Rees-Mogg just said on television, in talking of me as a parliamentary orator of note, that Keir Starmer's problems just got 100 times more serious than they were before today. This is going to spark a movement, a landslide, a shifting of the tectonic plates in scores of parliamentary constituencies, beginning here in the Northwest. His speech was disrupted as he took to the podium with climate activists throwing confetti on him. Thank you for watching The Note. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to The Mirror for more daily news updates.